Hi, good afternoon. This is Jeff Coppertite from STEM Fitness, sponsored by Officials 101. Today I want to talk to you about fair and foul balls in baseball for misconceptions part two. So first off, we know that the fair and foul ball call base is based on where the ball is when it either touches a base or when it's first touched by a fielder or when it hit, where it hits the ground. So let's start with infield only. So here I've got this little Lego first base line here with first base right here, and here's our baseball, okay? So obviously if the ball comes to rest in fair territory, it's a fair ball. If the ball is touched by a player first while the ball is in fair territory, let's let this Mia be the ball, be the fielder. If it touches and then goes out here, because Mia touched it while it was in fair territory, it's still a fair ball. However, one of the misconceptions that people don't realize is that it matters where the ball is in fair territory or foul territory for that matter. It doesn't matter where the player is. So for example, if this ball is in foul territory, as you can see, but then Mia tries to catch it and it caroms off and she drops it, that's actually a foul ball, even though Mia is standing on the first base line. So the other, and obviously the opposite would be true, but if Mia is here and tries to catch the ball and now the ball is touched by her and then caroms off because she touched it while she's in fair territory, this is a fair ball. So the other thing that also one, be, one must realize is that if the ball is grounded and it touches first base, even if it touches the corner of the base, it is still a fair ball. Okay, so the first base usually is raised above the field, so we consider all parts of the base to be fair territory. But if the ball goes over the line and then rolls past the base, it doesn't matter if anyone's touched it or not, it's now a foul ball because it has touched the ground. So speaking of which, let's go to the outfield. So here's first base, right? Let's extend that first base line into the outfield. So now here's Mia playing left field. So same deal here. If it's a fly ball, and that fly ball carries it into foul territory, even though Mia might be reaching over to touch that ball, that's still a foul ball because it's where the ball is, not where the player is. Furthermore, if the ball is flown into the outfield and it first touches the ground in foul territory, that's a foul ball. If it touches the line, that's a fair ball, okay? And if it touches the foul pole out here, then it's a foul ball. So we'll say bye to Mia, so bye-bye. All right, so hopefully that helps clear up some of the confusion about fair and foul balls in baseball. Realize it's where the ball is, not where the players are that touch that ball, okay? So that's, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you look forward to more videos from STEM Fitness and Officials 101. Have a great day.